Notebooks are the primary means of developing and executing code interactively on Databricks. You should have either deployed a cluster or identified a cluster that an admin has configured for you to use. Directly below the name of this notebook here, at the top of the screen, we can use the drop-down list to connect this notebook. Remember that deploying a cluster can take several minutes. You should see this green arrow icon next to the cluster name if the resources have been deployed. If it has a solid gray circle, you'll have to start the cluster. Notebooks provide cell-by-cell -cell execution of code. Multiple languages can be mixed in a notebook. You can add plots, images, a markdown text. Notebooks can be easily deployed as production code, as well as provide a robust toolset for data exploration, reporting, and dashboarding. First, let's review running a cell. We can execute this cell using one of the following options, control enter or control return, shift enter or shift return, or using these run cell options here. This one just runs this cell. This will run all of the previous cells, and this will run this cell, as well as all the cells below it. Cell-by-cell -cell execution means that cells can be executed multiple times or out of order. Setting the default notebook language. The cell above executed this code as Python because our current default language for the notebook is set to Python. Databricks notebooks support Python, SQL, Scala, and R. A language can be selected when a notebook is created, but this can be changed at any time. The default language appears directly to the right of the notebook title at the top of the page. Let's change the default language for this notebook to SQL. We can do this by clicking on the default language next to the title and using the drop-down menu to select the new default. Notice that when we did this, this percent Python appeared in this cell. We'll discuss this in a moment. Let's create and run a SQL cell. I'm going to click to select the cell and then press B on my keyboard to create a cell below. There are a lot of different methods for adding, moving, and deleting cells within this interface. Refer to the docs for more details. You can also check out some shortcuts here. We're gonna copy and paste this to run SQL. And in this case, we didn't actually need the percent sign since our default language is now SQL. That percent SQL and percent Python is called a magic command. These are specific to Databricks notebooks and are similar to the magic commands found in comparable notebook products. They're built-in commands that provide the same outcome, regardless of the notebook's language. The single percent symbol at the start of a cell identifies a magic command. You can only have one magic command per cell, and it must be the first thing in that cell. Language magic commands allow for the execution of code in languages other than the notebook's default. We'll run Python in this SQL notebook by using the percent Python magic command. And this is a SQL notebook, so we won't need this. In addition to running Python and SQL, we can also use the %md magic command to render markdown in a cell. We can double click on the cell to begin editing it and press escape or just click out to stop. You can see there are a lot of different things you can do with markdown, such as specifying headers, formatting options like bold, italics. We can use ordered lists, bulleted lists, embed links, images, etc. Note that you'll be seeing this format used for sharing links in these notebooks, just so we make sure that you open them in a new tab as opposed to redirecting you to a new page in this current tab. But standard markdown links also work here. And of course, tables. Another magic command we'll look at is percent %run. You can run a notebook from another notebook using this magic command. They're specified with relative paths, and the reference notebook executes as if it were part of the current notebook. So temporary views and other local declarations will all be available from the notebook calling it. And to demonstrate, if we uncomment this cell, you can do this by clicking Control slash or Command slash and press Shift Enter to run it. We get an error because we are trying to reference a table that does not exist. However, running this cell executes another notebook that will define that table for us. This includes logic to create and use a database, as well as create that temporary view called demo temp vw. And if we run it again, we can see that it is now available in our current notebook session 